What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It feels like FPV Christmas time right now, but wait a minute, it's August, 2021. And I have something here that I've been testing and it's been a few weeks and I'm happy to report that Express LRS is something that most of you guys might want if you have a smaller format radio with a smaller JR module bay. It is the light version of something like a full blown TBS Crossfire. Uh, this is $200 and this is $40. So um, a little bit of a difference here. Check out this little tiny sort of diamond style antenna and look how big the original one was. Um, there are some huge differences between these two. If I was gonna fly this on a long range wing and do say over five miles out, I'd probably, since I'm a traditionalist, probably go for something like the TBS Crossfire. Uh, also maybe the new Tracer, the new Tracer is also available in a smaller format, but that one is $70, $40, $70, you know, $40, $70, which one do you go for? Um, but this one has some really awesome things that we need to talk about. And one of the biggest things in our community is that this is not open source. This is, and this runs on CRSF protocol. So um, you can set this up in Betaflight on that protocol. There are two versions of this available. There are 2.4 versions, which I have here and 915 megahertz for long range. Now, if you want the fastest packet transmission available right now in the market, it would probably be this one. This one is around two milliseconds transmission. And uh, yeah, that's very fast. It has been tested by various people on YouTube. You can go check out their videos and they've done real-time testing against other light modules out there like the Tracer module and um, the other smaller format Crossfire. Now, one thing about this one is that it also has switchable power. It has switchable power from up 25, 50, 100, 250, which is the max that the Tracer Nano does. And this one also goes to 500 milliwatt so that's a really nice power range for something this small and is compatible with the x light it's compatible with the tango 2 and any other radio that can have crossfire external output in the open tx setup if you have open tx on your radio and you can select external output and select crossfire you should be able to use this little module so that is pretty cool so let's go ahead now and let's take a look at this little guy on the bench and i'll show you what Express LRS is all about and why it is, is definitely so cool for the community. There we go. So let's just jump right into the depth of the information that I have available for you guys at this point. This is a review, it's a follow-up review to a lot of the other reviews out there have already gone and done a lot of the testing. Um, I myself have been flying it for a couple weeks as well at the same time, but you guys, you guys know that I don't really do any reviews until I've had something for a while and I've, I truly have an opinion on it. So um, with that out of the way, now I can speak from experience of, of flying this protocol for you guys and my understanding of how it works and taking from the other resources that are out there. I've collected this knowledge and I'm gonna put it into this video for the community. So Beta FPV has done something here for our community that is great because now we have an open source RF module that has three different versions on it. It will run 2.4 gigahertz, which is some of the fastest low latency transmitter out there for FPV racing down to two milliseconds. That's crazy. So that is faster than uh, the Crossfire Nano. Uh, it is faster than the TBS Crossfire full blown size and it's outputting power up to 500 milliwatts. So um, it's even faster or has more power than the TBS Nano uh, module. That one is running on 915 and you can also run 2.4, 915 and 868 megahertz. So um, the, this is the FCC version, the 915. So if you live in the United States, grab the 915 megahertz for long range. That's the one I would get. The 2.4 I'd say is for more general flying uh, long range, if you want kind of unlimited range with a whoop, this is also crazy because they're incorporating SPI into it. And SPI is basically a built-in receiver to the flight controller. It has a little antenna. Happy Model has some of the same antennas on some of their flight controllers now, and this can bind up with that. And what that does is basically gives you kind of an unlimited micro style range. Uh, you're gonna be able to 
fly out fly your battery before you lose range with this thing so um, you're not going to be able to fly the total range that this thing is outputting with any type of whoop so um, you're going to have to turn around and come home at you know half or less a little less than half your battery so you make it back and you don't drop out of the air now the other nice thing about this one is it is lura enabled and it has uh, lua scripting as well that works with it there is some lua scripting available uh, in the manual the manual is very in-depth and i just think it's awesome that this can be set up for external rf using crsf and that's exactly what this one uses so that is pretty cool it also has a power input range from 5 volt to 12 volt so as of the current time this one will work with any light module bay um, mostly the x light series tbs tango 2 and it says it will also work with the x9d which is cool um, so that's nice and, and this has a built-in crsf serial port as well it also has a, a sort of a momentary bind switch here if you like press on this little button right there it will start flashing and bind up to your module and the coolest 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 thing about this is that when you hook it up to your quad you turn on your quad you press this button and you don't have to go take your quad apart or use a bamboo skewer and get in there to that little button like on the xm plus there's that gold button you're sitting there trying to hold that down plug in the quad do all that stuff no you don't have to do that you can hit the button on this version of it so that's pretty cool there's also a command line that you can put in and be able to have this set up in auto bind so um, that is really awesome and i just like this little shrunk down sort of diamond style antenna it looks really cool so similar to that but such a smaller format so um i think that this one yeah it, it's 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 going to be super popular in the community um and on the back of this manual i wanted to show you guys this if you, if you kind of make this large on your screen you see the output power is all about 500 milliwatt that's more power than the tbs nano will do the, the the light version of 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 tbs that is pretty amazing the tbs tracer goes up to 250 this one goes up to 500 so it's it's outputting a lot of power now this guy right here this will do two watt this will do up to two watts so that, i mean that's that thing will get smoking hot and a lot of times i use an external battery with it because it's nice trappy put a little xt30 port on there so we can uh, have some dc input on this one and i gotta tell you like the the bind process versus this one is going to be much easier than tbs crossfire because you still have to go and search for that gold button and press the gold button down but the nice thing ver as this one versus say something like the xm plus is that when you bind this one up you can turn on the quad and then press the button after you've turned on the quad and then it will also do auto updates which is cool so um, i'm hoping that this one does auto updates it also has a usb-c port in the bottom right there but this is cool that this one is way easier in my opinion to bind up than the xm plus having to hold down the button and plug in a battery it seems like something of the past so uh, i think that beta fpv is onto something here you can also change the power on this momentary press will put it into bind mode and if you long press this baby it will change the power output so that this guy's doing so you go 100 milliwatt is blue on this little led right here long press it again and it will change to purple long press it again and it changes to red now if you're looking for more information about this particular product i, I would definitely suggest hopping on their facebook group you can click on the facebook group link in the beta fpv product page it's down at the very bottom and that will take you over to the express lrs high performance radio control length uh, group i think there's about almost four thousand members in there right now so i would go join up for, for that group and really really expand your whoops horizon so uh, whether you're flying a whoop a five inch a four inch um, something with gps on it it, it also outputs telemetry so you'll get actually gps telemetry displayed on your open tx radio so that's also pretty cool on the screen you can see gps latitude and longitude um, which is super nice and one of the coolest things about this also that i heard from another reviewer is the fact that this one has such a high output uh or far as packet reception that if you do crash to the ground say you somehow crash on the ground way out there and you're i mean when you're sitting on the ground with tbs crossfire a lot of times once you're sitting on the ground a mile away you, you can't flip into turtle mode because you have no signal you're down and you're done um, apparently with this one 
you will probably still get reception back if you do crash and you can enable turtle mode flip over and take back off so that is big that's huge for long range if you're flying out there a mile away and uh, you happen to hit a tree going down the mountain hopefully you can get your quad back in the air so that's a, a super cool feature of the express lrs in my opinion um, so super fast middle set two millisecond latency there low latency and uh, 500 milliwatt power output lewis grips i mean we have a little bit of everything here it also has wi-fi function for firmware updates which i think is huge as well so you can connect to the wi-fi and if you're cool like <laughs> some other reviewer said like joshua you can use the app to update this um that is pretty cool so they they are going full steam ahead with express lrs and i would definitely definitely suggest checking this one out if you have an x light radio you have an x9d or uh any light module style radio bay um in the back now one thing i did hear about was that you need to do a uh, i believe albert kim has a power mod for the t light series transmitters uh, from jumper and you'll have to to make that power a little better in the back to be able to run this guy so um, that was one of the big issues with tbs so uh, you can check these out and the link down below i would snap one up before they're sold out i think these are going to sell a lot and pretty fast because hey a little faster better power output and a very reliable and and great open source product now from beta fpv so um, two thumbs up to beta fpv for giving us something that is going to be super useful on our whoops wings and five inch race quads coming up for racing guys remember grab the 2.4 and for long range guys grab the 915 megahertz version so um, get out there and get out there for a little cheaper these receivers are now like $16 for one of them. So that's pretty awesome. Take care, guys. I'll see you on the next one.